this is that same one coming for a victory lap. Little grade 13. You victory lap him? Rattled to get it there. Soaked to catch him. Just come up a little bit. Just a little bit of that. Just give me a promise ring. A little commitment. Okay. Oh, she's committed. We're engaged! Oh man, I can't believe I didn't check that freaking auger bolt. <laughs> Should have checked the pin before uh, setting her up there. Nothing like popping it off and running it over. <laughs> it's like an old Nintendo game. Let's see. Yep. Something you always want extras of. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm a dummy. It's too worried about all the fishing gear. I didn't worry about... Uh, Checking that auger. Back in business. They're riding around on these mounts. It's just nothing but rattling. So if you just use it in your truck, you probably don't need to check it all the time. But obviously that ain't the case. I did walk out here and check this morning. So I know there's some ice. Ice city. Tell you what, now that there's a sled out here, folks driving by and seeing tracks, it'll be a damn party tomorrow. Okay. That's that double cross goodness. Ah. Jace is that. Oh gosh. There to there. It's at least seven. Probably eight. I got long mitts so i'm just fishing a mud flat here but that doesn't mean you can well you can just set up anywhere but i want to see some differences so i like that see that little bottom i don't know if you can see this i don't have the phone going yet there's a little contour there with a the fish on it even if they're perch or little fish it's still a good idea to set up on them because that's gonna help you when the night bite comes rolling so you can just see all this rock 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 behind me and then it just kind of drops off so exactly where I drilled this hole is where the rock meets the mud they'll use that line to run up and down Here. oh I forgot how fun winter is Look at that stuff. <laughs> Old girl's just barely hanging on here. It's uh it's blowing outside. All right, welcome back, Lube Tubers. Jamie Bruce here. As you can see, I'm in the Shanto today. Took the power toboggan out. Slicing around and fishing in the Kenora area after some big walleye. Maybe a couple for the pan. Bit of a meat mongrel, as you know. Um, gonna show you, hands down, my favorite way to catch walleye. Something I've been playing with uh, for the last little bit. Um, we're gonna get into it here and hopefully find a few waldos. Scoop. And scoop. Traditional methods. Oh, baby. There she is right there. That's the old clack daddy. She's ready to breathe. That's on that new wicked 38 inch medium light. This is a clack and pole if I've ever seen one or any kind of dead stick in. 
So you can see it on the scope here. You'll see that top one, that's my minnow and red line, and that bottom one's my clack daddy. So one good thing about this is I can keep beating on the bottom and still have my bait above it. It's not gonna get all mud mongreled. Obviously walleye like that, you know, pounding sound into the bottom to attract it. And this is kind of a one-two punch. It's like having a jigging spoon and a dead stick. And I've talked about this thing a lot before, but I literally have, for most walleye fishing, I have two rods rigged up, a rattle spoon, like a VMC rattle spoon and a flash bang and a clack shot. And that is it. Um, you know, I've walleye fished a lot. I've played with a lot of different things. And you know, if I'm on Lake Winnipeg or something, I'll mix in a rip and wrap. But once you kind of get the hang of this, you can do it for dead sticking and active jigging like we're doing now and having that finesse little presentation so these are, fish are usually pretty tough to catch so having that fi little finesse aspect of it will uh will help out a little bit all right so i get clacked daddy that's that vmc red line that's a one-aught drop shot how can fish for bigger fish and using bigger meat so that's the one i go with it's just so sharp and even a little soft rod like this will bury it no problem got about a 12 inch lead and we're clacking. No, we didn't like the weed, it was chewing on it. Turn and burn, baby. There it is. Got it. First real walleye. Come on, you old clack daddy. It's a nice walleye. Oh, yeah. First reeling. Went for old big manor. A little red line, pop that out. That one's primed for Sarah Palin, I think. Put her on the board here quick. lap board. Settle her down. Is she good? Sarah was getting hungry there. Cool five gal. Ooh, there's another one. Let the night bite commence. I'm over you, Mark. Oh. Oh, that thing's getting charged. Just hit a dead stick spoon. What is this thing? We're on, Ron. She turned on a dime. Actually, it doesn't feel that big, but never mind. Feels like a toothy. <laughs> Clear out the hazards. I've got a lot of face in that red line hook. That's a pike. Brutal. Chain pickerel. Knew it all along. I did think it was gonna be bigger though, to be honest. You get buggered. Gah. Sweet. I do have a nice little boiled pike recipe that could play. Quit scaring everything. You're not even big. Just have the scope cranked up so damn much. That was not cool. Get! She gone! Dunk. Yep, she got her. It's a little fish. I gotta let him chew it for a second. We're on, Ron. Waldo. We're on. She's a Waldo. No, that's a Sagasu. Sagi Sayugi. I don't like always just sitting on my arse when I'm ice angling, but as you can see, it's pretty nasty out there. There's not a whole lot of people partaking in outdoor activity today, so we're just gonna rattle them on in, rip coffees, wait for them big house. If you are a coffee fan, can't recommend enough. Reunion, Irish cream moonshine. I don't have any in here, I wish I did, but 
that'd be highly illegal if you want to check that out if you're sick of the old if you're a coffee ripper you know we got christmas coming if you're into the baileys or the 40 creek you know finally a different brand switch it up a little bit i like the taste of it a little bit better she's got plenty of octane canadian company heart maybe it's like a dollar or two more but uh check out the link in the bio and Give her a sample for yourself, help support the channel, help support the podcast. That's the one we've been waiting for, I'm thinking. Oh yes, please keep coming. Drop the plow on them little fish. Never mind them little fish. It's a night bait. Yes, there we go, that's the bite. That's the bite, if you can't lose them here. That's the one we've been waiting all day for. Ah! Just kidding. I didn't lose them yet. No, I'm pretty confident in that red line. The way it bit it too, I got a pretty good idea of lip placement. Nice. She's no King Kong, but we're moving in the right direction. It's still a nice one. Look at that red line right in the beak. Come here, girly. Sweet. I like it. Sit her on back. Okay. Now she's time to make hay while the sun shines. You wait all damn afternoon for sometimes as small as a 10 minute window. Come on now. You can just see the difference in attitude and the difference in size between that and whatever else these little rabbits were running around. you beggars can be choosers lost the keeper was happy about that because I got to go back down get to the super jumbos and then I frig them up Ooh. world's loudest thermos crash oh please oh please what in the world is that? It's King Tut. Come on back. Circle it back now. Circle it back now. Please? I don't even feel like singing songs anymore to him. It's not a big one. A lot of the sting is coming from the fish losing I did on the last day of the Bassmaster Open in Florida that cost me an Elite Series berth. I'm reliving it. I haven't done much fishing since. I remembered how much it sucks to lose a fish. I used to not care. Now that's burned into my soul. No, not you. No, not you. No, not you. is the one <sighs> we're into overtime that's a big fish I think it's a walleye too she's game seven Bob Bob This is not supposed to be high stress, like I'm just fun fishing. Not in a tournament or anything. And I was so down from losing that last big one. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh yeah. She's a king. <laughs> Bye. 
We back. Clacker to the lip. Look at that. Little red line. Pender. Yes, sir. That's a big one. That's what we're after. And then nestle her back and try to get one more. Turn this night around. I'm gonna have to call the wife. Tell her I'll be late. There we go. This outdoor content has been brought to you in part by Nordic Point Lodge. Located in Northwestern Ontario, Nordic Point Lodge offers some of the finest fishing Canada has to offer. Whether you're looking for a family friendly getaway or a corporate retreat, Nordic Point Lodge has you covered. They offer a luxury outdoor experience with five star service. Check out the description below for more information. 453, I'm gonna have to cut it off at five o'clock here. Might as well just watch these sliders forever. This is that same one coming for a victory lap. Little grade 13. You victory lap him? Mm, that looks like a different fish. Oh, it looks a little bigger. I'll be honest. I'm gonna try just this little soak. Rattled to get it there. Soak to catch him. Let's just see. Nothing too invasive, just a little soap. Just come up a little bit. There's a little bit of that. Just give me a promise ring. A little commitment. Okay. Oh, she's committed. We're engaged! Bye! On again. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. that one the fade. The reverse psychology. Pretty hard night bite. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Not as big as the last one, but I will not complain. Clacker to the beak, baby. Clacker to the beak. If you ain't clacking, you ain't stacking. See ya. All right, that's gonna do it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming along that roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Glad we turned around. I was surprised to catch a couple big ones late like that, but that's uh, pretty sweet. No complaints here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being subscribed. And we'll see you on the next video.